This is Pete Feenster on Wednesday the 15th of November, live at the Arch Hotel in London, talking to the rock legend that is Bernie Marsden. Great to have you here, Bernie. How are you? This, of course, is the morning after the night of the Classic Rock Awards, so we're all feeling a little bit fragile. It's great to see you, and it's, it's an auspicious occasion, because it's 40 years, you've just told me, since you joined UFO, which is unbelievable. 40 years this month, yeah. That's, unbelievable. Uh, it is unbelievable. Uh, when you think about it, you don't kind of think about it until yeah. it hits you in the face. Yeah. But uh, good memories. Uh, and they're still, still going, doing of course. It. And they're still going, and I'm and you're still obviously going. we're still going. So, uh, but a lot, of yeah, people, right, a lot of people be asking, well, what's Bernie up to? And of course, you've been writing a lot of big songs. One of which is just on uh, Joe Bonamassa's new album. Yeah, I've been very fortunate. Uh, Joe and I have become. Uh, Pretty good mates, and uh, which was happening before he covered the song. I didn't even know. I got a, an email from Kevin Shirley saying, uh, John, Joe, and I thought we'd do a good version of this song, so we did. The next thing I knew, it was on the album. And which is the track? It's called A Place in My Heart. Yeah. yeah. And he does a great job. And did you lay the, did, did you, uh, are you on it? You recorded it over here, or did you go over there? Or? Uh, he recorded it oh, with, okay. with Kevin in Los Angeles, yeah. and uh, uh, he heard it from a, 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 a recording I made of it about oh, probably three years ago on my private, on my own label. And so it basically is a new song outside of uh, my gigs. So it's real, real good. And, and let's go to your solo career, Bernie. What have you been up to lately that people might not know about? Well, the last couple of years, up until more or less this summer, I was doing uh, Bernie Plays Rory. I, doing my, yeah, people, I suppose people would call it a tribute, but it, it was a, to me it was a celebration. Yeah. You know, Rory was a somebody you knew very, very good well friend. And, and with, yeah. uh, how bad is it to play Rory Gallagher's oh, music? No, 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 Nobody can be Rory Gallagher. No. You know, there was only one. But uh, I had the blessing of his brother Donald, and yeah. uh, I wouldn't have done it, in fact, yeah. without them. Because oh, so. uh, there's a lot of people who are doing other things. But uh, I enjoyed it, and uh, it's, it hasn't finished. But if somebody wants me to go and do yeah. it again. I do it, but I used uh, Richard Newman on the drums yeah. and David Levy, yeah. who played with Rory. Of they both played with Rory, and so it was pretty authentic. In house, yeah, yeah, yeah it was good stuff. Good stuff. And uh, in terms of White Snake, everybody knows about you. Still doing any of those shows at all? Yeah, I got uh, David called me uh, at the end of 2009. Was it or 10? Let's get this right. And just said, uh, "What are you doing in the summer? Oh. Last summer?" And uh, I said, well, "You tell me." He said, "Well, come and play with me in Sweden." So, really? Was that Sweden it, Rock? That was Sweden Rock oh. in front of what 50,000 people. Oh. And a week later, we were at Hammersmith Odeon, which was quite emotional. But it was great to reconnect, and we're now uh, we're now like we were in the early days. We speak we speak pretty much every week, which is great. Yeah. Email, telephone, or whatever. You know, he lives in America. I'm still here, but uh, you know. It's, the world, the world is smaller these days. And you're still doing any stuff with Mickey Moody at all? No, no. We stopped working together about six years ago, and uh, I'm sure he's uh, he's out there doing it somewhere and whatever. But uh, I couldn't. Uh, yeah, I love the in this now. Yeah, this is kind of. I mean, I've got the guitar thing going now with you know with Paul Reed Smith guitars. Yeah. I have a signature guitar, which is great. Um, wow. I'm doing my own thing. Have I'm, you got Have you got a band tied into that at all? Yeah, I've got a band. Uh, Different guys, uh, uh, well, Richard and, and, and David sometimes, and uh, I work with a young guitar player called Jim Kirkpatrick who plays with FM. All right. He's uh, has great. Uh, We've made a good comeback, of course. Yeah. Everybody's around. It's, it's really really nice to see that. I think they go out with Thin Lizzy. I think so. Right. He keeps active. Are, are you amazed, generally speaking, that, that rock music is seems to be on an upswing again? Do you know what? Was it last night? Somebody said uh, Skin had won the comeback. Was yeah. it Billy Gibbons said, man, they, they ain't never been away. away yeah. And I don't think rock, really. I mean, White State began when punk was yeah. king. Yeah, yeah. But was it? Yeah. We still sold tickets and we sold and made records. And, and you had a whole new wave of heavy metal at yeah. that time and as well. Which yeah, big. whole yeah. people came back. And I think people, uh, they want to go out here and play. I think it's one of the reasons why there's so many of us older generation around. Well, look, who, who was the kingpins last night? Jeff Beck and, yeah. and Billy Gibbons. And, with great respect, they're older than me, and uh, yeah. they're still my heroes, and I'm sure there's uh, yeah. a lot of other people. So, you come back, yeah, I right. guess, in terms of record sales. Uh, in terms right. of media yeah. interest, I think. Media that's really interest, what we're talking yeah. about. And that, and that band last night, St. Jude, you know, they, they were yeah. like, uh, yeah. that could have been us 20, 30 years yeah. ago. You know. And of course, you talked about Joe Bonamass early on. We were talking to Glenn Hughes the other week. I mean, he's been, again, another great example of yeah. somebody coming back. Yeah. Glenn is, well, Glenn is perennial, isn't he? He's just, yeah. 
you know, the Glen can sing the phone book and sound great anyway. You know, so. And it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, I, but I suppose, uh, bringing the conversation full circle, I mean, I suppose it's all down to good songs, which is something you've concentrated on a lot in the last yeah, I've always, that's half of your career, really. Yeah, I mean, even at the early days of Whitesnake, you know, David had been through that whole thing with, you know, guitar heroes, Richie and yeah. Tommy Bolin and stuff. Yeah. And, you know, it was a kind of a conscious, unconscious decision when we'd started yeah. that Mickey and I weren't interested in being a guitar hero, but yeah. I wanted to be in a really good rock band yeah. and I wanted to write good songs yeah. and I think we did that, yeah. test of time has yeah, yeah. been good to me on that, you know. Absolutely. So Do you still enjoy doing, playing? The moment I don't enjoy playing then I'll stop. Yeah. Yeah. I mean I think it comes, comes uh, across in your shows always did. Yeah, and you, and you can't fake that. You know? no. like, people know, you know, look, it's what's the matter with you tonight, you know. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's it's good. I mean if and I don't care whether there's five hundred people, fifty people, yeah. five thousand, you know, you've still got to do the job. Yeah, yeah, you know, and you do you go out and play. You know? Well it's been an absolute pleasure good. talking to you, Bernie. Good to see you, mate. May you keep on rocking right, for the next twenty years. Twenty years, do you reckon? Well, I don't know. At Let's least. Go. At least. It's been Pete Fiends for talking to Bernie Mars and forget ready to rock dot com. Thank you to Eric on the camera and good afternoon. Good afternoon.